a fighter is efficient in capitalizing on his opponent's mistakes, then the fighter can beat most opponents and possibly make it all the way to the championship level. But fighters that are efficient at forcing their opponent's mistakes can potentially become world beaters. This second part and this two-part breakdown is about control and guard manipulation in the boxing ring. I'll tag part one here if you didn't catch it. In boxing, you're constantly defending or attacking. There is a counter for everything in boxing, so as you punch, you're taking a risk of being counterpunched. Although there are many other applications, a highly skilled control game acts as, in my opinion, the safest transition between offense and defense. Let's get it. Clearing the path to strike is a high-level form of guard manipulation. A fighter usually makes it look like a combination, and typically the lead hand is the trick. Young Xander Zayas shows us an example with the 3-2. The 3 isn't meant to land on the scoring area. It's actually intended to wipe the guard out to clear a path for the stronger backhand to land. This form of guard manipulation allows a fighter to physically force an opening in the guard with the lead hand increasing the connect percentage of the power shot that comes behind it. Another form of clearing the path to strike is the peel, which had been popularized by Lomachenko in this era, but has been in boxing for a half a century. Effective against a shelled up opponent, the lead hand again is used to peel down the opposite side of the guard for the subsequent backhand to do damage. Again, physically forcing an opening in the guard. Framing typically has the same mechanics as an inside wedge or L block, but instead of blocking punches, you're placing your wedge across the guard or body of your opponent to prevent your opponent from striking at all. In my opinion, framing is the safest way to transition from attacking to defending and vice versa in the pocket. The highest skilled fighters of all time have some type of high level frame game. A good frame game can overcome major disadvantages like hand speed as you can see Floyd deploying the technique to great effect against a quicker handed Zab Judah. Striking in the pocket then framing or striking from outside to position inside where he smothers and frames immediately preventing Zab Judah's counter. Another form of manipulation and clearing the path to strike is simply moving your opponent's guard to a more advantageous position. I say simply because the concept is simple, but to have the skill, boxing IQ, and wherewithal to pull it off while striking or defending in a fight, let alone a championship fight, is incredible. Once again, physically forcing an opening in the guard, making the power punch behind it almost certain to land on its target.
Control and guard manipulations are, in my opinion, the highest levels of skill in boxing.